So today we are background building. Woo woo. So as we're going through our background building, I want you to think about what you think is super cool. Or what do you find the most interesting? And that will end up being what you write about. So we are going to a new ecosystem today. Let me go ahead and share my screen. We just came from the prairie ecosystem where Jack and Annie went to the ghost town. And now we are going to the safari, the savannah. Hold on, did Amelia get in? Okay. Hi, Amelia. <clears throat> oh, we got Giovanni, hold on. Hi, Giovanni. All right. So we remember that our prairie didn't have a lot of trees. It was a lot of grasses. Today, we are going to learn all about the savanna. And the savanna is kind of like the prairie, but some things are different. So here's the title, Safari to the Serengeti. Here's what our savanna looks like. The word savanna means a land without many trees, but lots of grass. And this is just like the prairie ecosystem that we just came from with Jack and Annie. The savanna and the prairie are similar grassland ecosystems with wide open plains, so a lot of grass, and a few trees. So here you'll see the savanna, and on the right side you'll see the prairie, and it kind of looks the same. But there's one thing that's different. Compared to the prairie, the savannah's climate is much hotter. So the warm weather with, combined with a lot of rain is the reason that savannas are sometimes called tropical grasslands because of the rain, tropical. Here's everything that we have learned about, all the places we have gone. So you see this yellow dotted line, that's the equator. Most of the savanna ecosystems are found near the Earth's equator. And I know that some of you noticed this big animal right here. The biggest and most well-known savanna is on the continent of Africa. So right here is Africa. And it's in the country of Tanzania. It's called the Serengeti. Serengeti. That's a funny noun. It sounds like spaghetti. <laughs> but it is called the Serengeti. And Serengeti means endless plains. So there are some people that go on sightseeing trips called safaris in the Serengeti and they like to look for interesting plants and animals. So these people they go and they go through the savanna and they try to look for cool things. So now imagine you were on a safari in the in the Serengeti. What do you think you might see or hear? What kind of animals? What might you hear? How will you feel? What do you think if you were going on a safari? And you were going through to see all the animals? Okay, what do you think? What kind of animals do you think you'll see? I think I will see. Here. Okay. 
the cool. A lion? A lion, yes. You'll definitely see a lion. It might be a little scary because lions are... Sharp claws. They are predators. Alana? Tigers. What would you see? Tigers. Tigers, yes. That's a little scary. Giovanni? Elephants. Elephants, and definitely. Jaguars. And jaguars. All right. Those are some great guesses about what you might see in the safari. So if we were going on a safari, first we need to know about the weather. Just like before we go outside, we need to check the weather. So the Serengeti has two seasons, only summer and winter. That's it, only two seasons. So in the summer, the climate or weather is hot and wet. So you'll need a hat and probably a jacket. And the ground is super hot. The rain evaporates, so that means the rain goes back up into the air and that makes the air humid which makes it feel hot and thick with moisture so you're gonna need some clothes that are not too hot maybe you'll need a light jacket a hat shorts maybe now if you wanted to go to the safari in the winter it will be dry and cooler than the summer, but it doesn't snow there. So you will not need a snow jacket because it's, it's not that cold, it's pretty warm. Doesn't rain a lot in the winter, so you won't need your umbrella. Would you rather go on a safari in the summer or the winter? What are you thinking? Alana? Summer. Summer, it'll be hot and rainy. What are you thinking? Amelia? Winter. Why? Because it's warm and not too cold. Yeah, I like that. Not too hot. It's not, it's not too cold in the winter there. It's, it's actually pretty warm. Anyone else? Summer or winter? Giovanni? Summer. Summer, it will be super hot and rainy, but you'll still get to see cool animals. Jaden, if you went on the safari, would you go in the summer or the winter? Um, the winter. The winter, because it's not that cold and it doesn't rain that much. But whenever you decide to go, you have to bring your camera because you're going to see some amazing animals. What animal is that right here on the screen? Hold on. John Carlos? Zebras. A zebra, that's cool. I would definitely take a picture of a zebra. <laughs> all right, here we see some super cool animals. They all live on the safari. Giovanni, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see there? Tiger. No. The, elephant. One. You see an the elephant, elephant right there in the in the middle, and the elephant is the biggest animal that lives on land. What else? Don Carlos. What is that one? That's an elephant. What animal do you see? What do you see there? There's a giraffe, an elephant. I don't know what the other one is. Cheetah. A cheetah. That is a cheetah. The cheetah also lives in the safari. And the cheetah is the fastest animal on land. Yeah. Then there's another animal. I see Jaden. A giraffe and an the, elephant. The giraffe. The giraffe is the tallest I animal. Said, I said an elephant. And the elephant is the biggest animal.
So if we do go on the safari, you will see lions, cheetahs, and crocodiles. But you got to stay far away because they have sharp teeth and you don't want to bother them. Do you think these animals are carnivores or herbivores? Remember, carnivores eat meat and herbivores eat plants. What kind of animal do you think these are? What kind of eater? I see Giancarlo super excited. Animals. What do you think they eat? Meat. They do eat meat. And we know that because they have sharp teeth. They are all carnivores. They eat meat. These three animals are called the top predators because there are no other predators to hunt them where they live. So that means they're at the very top. Nobody wants to eat them. So now let's imagine that we are top predators, like the, the cheetah, the fastest animal. So here's the cheetah right here in the back. He's the fastest animal. You cannot run away from him because he will get you. How would you feel when you see this hyena? He's smaller than you, growling at you and showing his teeth. How would you feel? Giovanni? Scared. Scared. Now, if we go on the safari, we will get very lucky and we might see a lion. Now, lions are part of the cat family. So there are a lot of animals that, that are part of the cat family. Not just cats, like also lions. And cheetahs, they're part of the cat family. And they're the largest predator in the Serengeti. So they're really big and they're predators, which means they want to eat other animals. Sometimes we call lions the king of the jungle, but really they are the king of the savanna. Remember, we're learning all about the savanna. So male lions or boy lions have big, Fluffy mane, so all that hair around them, around their face is called a mane. While the female lion over here is called a lioness, and it doesn't have a mane. It doesn't have all that hair. But guess what? The females, the girls do all of the hunting for the family. So the girls go out and they bring food back for everyone. That's cool. So here's the hyena and the jackal. They're scavengers that roam the grassland. So they eat anything that's dead that's left on the floor. So if our lions and cheetahs are part of the cat family, take a look at these animals. What family do you think they're part of? Okay. I think they live in the dog family. Yes, you're so right. They are part of the dog family and they kind of look like it too. Now, if you think that the jackals and the hyenas are the only scavengers, they are not. There are vultures up in the sky that like to soar around looking for dead prey on the ground. Now here's a really cool thing. When they see something that they like, they began flying in a circle right above it. So they're still in the sky, but they're flying in a circle. And then they start getting lower and lower, still flying in a circle to make sure that no one is there to hunt them. So once they get all the way down and they see that it's safe, then they can go in and eat their food. They only eat dead stuff on the floor. They, they don't really hunt anything. 
There are also some decomposers, but now decomposers are really small. You might need a magnifying glass or a microscope to see them. So look at these. Oh, those look so gross. So most insects, your flies, your bugs, your worms, they're decomposers. That means that they break down the waste that's left on the floor and they leave a bunch of nutrients in the soil, making the soil very rich for plants to grow. So the savanna needs the decomposers. Now there's a few more animals that you will see. You'll see a gazelle. Gazelles are pretty quick too. You'll see some zebras, elephants, a giraffe. That's so cool. Giraffes are so cute. Do you think these animals eat meat, plants, or are they decomposers when they eat just what's on the floor? What do you think? Look at these animals. Amelia, what are you thinking? Um, plants. Plants. All of these animals are herbivores. They eat plants. Now herbivores get really lucky to live in the savanna because there's so many plants for them to eat. But there are also omnivores which eat both, like the baboon. They mostly eat plants, but also insects and fish. See, although there are lots of animals that live in the Serengeti, there are also plants that live there and they all adapt to their ecosystem. So they, their bodies and how they live is all to help them survive. They adapt to the land so they can survive. <clears throat> so here we have the umbrella shaped acacia tree. And this tree is very, very famous because the only animal that can eat the leaves from the tree is the giraffe. No one else can reach the tree. So the giraffe has all the food to himself. <clears throat> so remember that rain falls a lot during the summer. It rains a lot, but not the winter. But plants all need sun and rain to survive. So in the winter, look what happens to the plants. This is what happens to our trees in the winter too. This is called dormant. That means that the trees save all of their water until the summer. They will save it and they will become dormant. So they dry up and save the water until summer comes. So when summer comes, you can see that all the leaves are there and they're very much alive. Now, this is a really cool thing. If you travel in the winter, you might see the burnt patches of land. And that means that there was a fire, a wildfire. Now they are very common. They happen a lot in the savanna because it's very dry and that's how fires happen in the wildfire. So since there's less rain and everything is drier, they can catch fire easily. They usually start by a lightning bolt. So if lightning hits the savanna, it's going to cause a wildfire. But not all fires are bad because some fires can actually help the savanna. They clear out all of the dead, dry grass, leaving nutrients in the soil for new grass to grow. So all the animals that eat plants will come to the areas where there was a fire so they can get brand new, fresh plants. Fires are so important that sometimes the people who work in the savanna will start a fire on purpose, carefully and controlled, 
So they're not going to start a huge fire. Just something that they can be able to control, put out. This is the baobab tree and it is called the upside down tree. So because there are wildfires, plants in the savanna, they have to be hardy. And in order to protect itself from these fires, this tree has thick bark, it's really fat in the bottom. That means that he doesn't catch on fire easily. And that tree is also another famous, famous, famous tree. All right, let's do our syllables and then we'll talk about what you thought was really cool. Okay, savanna, savanna, three. Acacia tree, acacia tree. Safari, safari. Lion, lion, hyena. Hyena, giraffe, giraffe, vulture, vulture, wildfire, wildfire, baobab tree, baobab tree. Awesome. I saw, I saw you guys saying syllables with me. All right, let's talk about what did you learn, what was really cool or really interesting, and that will end up being your message. So think about it for a few. I have to think about mine too. And then we'll share. John Carlos? <laughs> No. Oh. She picked you. You better answer now. <laughs> Go ahead, Don Carlos. I learned about the lion. You learned about the lion? What about the lion? I know something about the lion. The lion is the king of the savannah. He's a top predator. No one wants to hunt the lion. So you can write something about that. Do you like the lion? All right. All right, young man. You're free to go start writing. Jaden? I learned about the cheetah. What did you learn about the cheetah? Um, uh, A cheetah is a top predator. No one wants to hunt him. And he also runs really fast. He's the fastest animal. Yeah. You can write something about that, hun. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Alana? Is Alana? Oh, she froze. Oh, here you are. Go ahead, Alana. Um, Hold on. Um, giraffe and elephant and zebras eat some plants. Yes, I love that. That's a beautiful message. And I need to pick one animal. I pick a giraffe. Okay. I love giraffes. They're super cute. All right, you are ready to go start writing in, lady. I will Bye. see you. Bye-bye. Okay. The giraffe is tall. It can eat food from the tree. Perfect. Stop. Hugs, <laughs> hugs. Oh. I don't miss my girl. I, 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 I wish I can make it for you. Okay, say We're going to hang out soon, okay? Don't worry. All right, go write your message, love. Go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go ahead, uh, yeah. Giovanni. Go ahead, Giovanni. I learned about the giraffe. 
What did you learn about the giraffe? It's taller. Perfect. You learned that giraffes are tall. All right, Giovanni, you ready to start writing? Yay. Yay. All right, see you later. Mm -hmm. All right, Amelia. What are you going to write about? I learned that in the winter, there are fires. Some are caused by lightning, and sometimes people set fires on purpose, and fires help the grass. That is beautiful. You really paid attention. That makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, Amelia, hopefully I will see you soon. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>